Hello and welcome to everybody on cloud fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see what exactly is DBT? What is a data built tool? Why do we use it? So from past two, three years, it has come to the surface and a lot of the companies have started using using this DBT or the data built tool. So I will create a play series and this will be the first video in that where we are going to understand what exactly is DBT, how does it function? And later on, we will also do hands on session in DBT as well. So stay tuned and do remember to like, share and subscribe my channel. So let's move ahead. And also I will leave the link for my LinkedIn profile in the description box. You can go ahead and follow me there as well. So when we talk about DBT, right, this DBT is nothing but it is called as a data build tool, right? So DBT is the short form. It is the acronym for the data build tool. Now this data build tool is nothing but it is an open source command line tool. It is an open source, right? You can simply use it directly in your system. Right. You don't need to, you know, pay anything for the license. It is an open source command line tool that helps analyst and the data engineer transform, test, document and deploy their data and workloads in the database. Now, when I say that it is a tool, so remember that it is an open source command line tool. Now, this tool actually helps you to transform the data. If I say that in one word, right? So we have this ETL process right or ELT process coming in right you already know about it now in that T is the transform and this is what data build tool actually does it helps you to transform your data now when you do the transformation it also helps you to test it you can actually write your test scripts as well in the DBT and you can test your the, the, the data that you ha have been transforming similarly it also allows you to document and deploy your data it helps you to maintain the documentation as well as it helps you in the deployment as well of your workloads. So I hope you understood this. And of course, it supports, supports multiple data warehouses. You can integrate it with the Databricks. You can integrate it with the Snowflake. So it is open to, you know, multiple data warehouses for the integration. So basically, whenever you have a set of data and you actually want to use that data and just transform it, you can go ahead, use this open source tool called as DBT. But you have to be very careful of, uh, you know, what exactly its use cases are, which we are anyway going to discuss further in the upcoming videos as well. So if you look at this diagram, you can actually see you have the raw data and you have a platform. This platform is nothing but this is the DBT platform, right? Here you are going to develop, test and document and deploy your changes and the final data set you can use it for any any of your use cases right and it of course integrates with your multiple data warehouses be you know any google uh, service or your azure data breaks or your you know your snowflake for that matter so let's move ahead and see what exactly we have next so when we talk about you know uh, let's talk about in fact few pros and cons now let's talk about the con first so it is very important to understand the cons and to understand the use cases as well. So when you talk about DBT, it is just a transformation tool, right? It just do the T part, the transformation part. Now, when I'm saying that it is a transformation tool, essentially you still need to ingest the data. So you will be still dependent on other tools to ingest your data, right? So you still need, let's say your, um, you know, XYZ tool to ingest your data and then you will be actually able to use your dbt so that is a bit of a challenge because in that case you are heavily dependent on you know two tools at a time which might complicate your architecture a bit now similarly when you talk about the pros right so it has good orchestration support so when i say good orchestration uh, support you basically you can orchestrate your uh, the, the, you, you can orchestrate your data pipelines actually now similarly if you have a table a created from table b and if you have table b created from table c right you can actually see the lineage graph in the dbt it also has a support for debug debugging earlier it was not there but they have introduced debugging support as well also it supports your role based access control and it has integration for git as well you can integrate git with dbt so once i move on to the hands-on session i will actually show you how does it looks like right and similarly when you talk about data governance 
if you have been uh, in the uh, databricks side then in that case you will understand that what is unity catalog i already have a playlist on that so you can use unity catalog as well with the dbt dbt supports unity catalog tables as well so these were the few pros and cons of dbt now remember that dbt comes in two versions one is your dbt core and one is your dbt cloud so in my hands on session mostly i will be going for the dbt clouds that i have now uh, when you talk about dbt core it is nothing but it is an open source tool available you can directly go ahead in your command line interface you can go ahead and use it that is called your dbt core right dbt core is nothing but you know directly using your dbt in your system using the command line interface that is what your dbt core is about but when you talk about dbt cloud you will actually see a ui just like you have the ui for snowflake right in the similar way you have something called as dbt cloud so it is a proper ui right in that ui you actually build models so when i say model you actually model basically means creation of a table so each table is a model so you create files over there to create your tables to create your transformation you write you know your sql queries to transform your data as well in the dbt cloud now this dbt cloud is basically a saas software it is a software as a service they give you the whole software you just bring in your data and use it now this dbt cloud has integration to the git right when you log into the dbt cloud in fact this is how the ui actually looks like right it is still loading so this is how your uh, the ui actually looks like so you can see at the top uh, like it is still loading at the top you know you can see that i have a branch created over here you can you know uh, assign the branch over here in which you are working you have an integration for uh, directly to the git you can actually integrate it directly to the git and similarly if you see this is here you actually develop the code so if i go to the models over here you know if i go to example so these are the few examples that i have been working on for example right so if you look at it these this is how you write you know your code you transform your data so you transform your data using sql queries over here and you basically if you see with customers as right so i have created a new customer table over here right i have created a new customer table over here using some kind of xyz transformation which we are going to see later on so right now you can see that it provides you with a lineage right and you you know and if you see if you want to run at the bottom you can simply say dbt run right so it will actually run your uh, you know whatever file you have it is going to run so now this is just to show you an overview of how it looks like right you when you deploy it you also have a workflow for it you know you can uh, you have the job you can create a job over here and you know uh, in fact if you want to see any run history that is also available i just wanted to show you uh, you know how the ui looks like where we will be working on later on so basically what you saw just now is nothing but it is the dbt cloud right it is a full ide right you have the full saas software to develop to you know maintain you can you know test over there you can write your test script you can orchestrate your job and even logging and alerting is also there in the workflow so uh, basically this is all about an introduction for your dbt and you know the dbt core and the dbt cloud as well you have also seen the ui which gives you a good idea on how it looks like and in the upcoming videos i'm going to make the whole play series on the dbt where we will see how we can actually implement and how we can work with the dbt so i hope you like this particular video and do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for being till here